Max Edition M2 Waste Pouch. Um, this is how uh, I carry uh, the bag every day. This is fully loaded. Um, and what I thought that I would do um, is uh, give you a quick 360 on how the bag is holding up. And um, I actually got a couple of stains and a little bit of dirt on it. And I want to give it a wash. So I'm going to give you a little before and after. So um, we'll kind of go through the bag, and I'll show you so if I can, uh, if I can get it on the camera to show up, um, the um, couple stains and dirt and what's not that's on it. And then I'll throw it in the laundry, and uh, after it's dried, I'll uh, pull it back out, and we'll do the second part of the video on how it holds up after a wash. Um, okay, so this has been an uh, everyday carry bag for um, the things that I carry on. You'll see that in a minute. Pretty much the same stuff I carried uh, two years ago when I did the uh, first review on this bag. Um, but literally every single day this is in my hands and uh, my hands are um, oftentimes not the cleanest things on the planet. <laughs> I do work in an office job but when I'm home I'm always into some kind of projects uh, whether whether it's you know mechanic and grease or it's paint and wood dust or whatever it is. Um, and this has been uh, camping with me, it's been on road trips with me, it's been through airports, it's been through hotels, it's been out in the woods, it's uh, been dropped in the parking lot. Uh, so it's been used pretty thoroughly at this point. Alright, so let's give you a little close up here. So the biggest uh, little stain I have is right here. And I'm not really sure what it is, it might be ink. Um, it might not be. It could be some other kind of stain, something that's spilled on it. I don't really know. Um, in terms of wear and tear on the bag, um, all I've really got is dirt. So here's another corner that has uh, some dirt stains on it. The, the paracord, um, is, which obviously I use that as his handles, those are pretty, pretty worn. You can tell they're kind of oily and a darker um, color than they ought to be. So we'll see how they clean up. Um, the edge banding, I'm sorry, the camera's out of focus there. Come on, there we go. So right here, this is dirty around the edge. You can see variation in color, I hope. Um, but as far as seams and edges, um, you know, I, I got nothing coming loose. I've got nothing frayed. I've got nothing worn out. Here's the bottom of the bag. You can see the little bit of dirt on the corners. But really, everything's holding up really, really well. Um, so what I carry in the bag, this is where my iPhone goes in that pocket. Um, sometimes I'll have uh, small pieces of paper, notepad uh, kind of things or whatever in that pocket as well. Um, two pen clips. So there is one pen. There's my Countycom Embassy pen. On the back is my pager. Um, that rides in the um, PALS webbing that's on the back. I'm not going to get that off easy because the paper has a hook on it. You can see that hook right there. Which means it doesn't come off, which is good. I don't lose that. <laughs> but it makes it hard to take it off if I want it off. Let me try. Nope. I usually have to get my pocket knife out to get that. Yeah. So it's not worth taking it off. You, you know what PALS webbing looks like. Um, a Maxpedition uh, carabiner clip uh, on this uh, side. I use that to clip it um, to my Kodiak bag from time to time. Makes it easy to put it on the uh, dinghy ring clip um, and uh, have it carried that way if I need an extra open hand. Okay, now the inside the bag. Double zippers are still working fine. There's been no zipper issues. That's good. Uh, there's my wallet and a couple of loose receipts stuffed down in there and there's a handful of business cards and uh, you know the uh, member cards you get like this is from uh, that's from a cupcake place oh, you know buy six cupcakes get one free kind of thing so a number of those kind of cards what else is in there uh, I'm not sure what that is uh, receipt, okay. Um, this is a little notepad that I carry in the center. Um, I think I got it from Walmart. 
and it's just blank lined paper and I use it for making notes and uh, a little tip uh, the binding on this is a little weak and it fell off uh, but you know what some uh, Gorilla Tape fixes that up really nicely so <laughs> a Gorilla Tape repair job uh, check that needs to be deposited oh look at there's an old receipt that's uh, from Home Depot stuffed in the bottom alright and so oh, there's another receipt all right, so that's uh, the inside of the bag. If I flip that around, I can show you. So there's all the stuff that I carry inside the bag. It actually holds a pretty good bit, doesn't it? All right, so there we have it. Um, it's in great shape still, uh, but I'd like it a little bit cleaner, so I'm going to finish taking off the uh, other couple of items here and then throw it in the laundry because my pager won't fare very well in the one laundry machine. So. I'm going to take that off and the carabiner clip too. Okay, next time you see it, it'll be freshly scrubbed. All right, be back shortly. Okay, everybody, here it is, fresh and clean from the laundry. I ran it through our regular um, batch of laundry, some other clothes, uh, denim, jeans, that kind of stuff t-shirts, whatnot, um, and the regular detergent, I did not run it through the dryer, let it air dry overnight, it was actually fairly dry when it came out of the washing machine though, uh, but let it dry overnight, and uh, I think it came out perfect, so you remember there were a few stains on it, and so there was a stain here on this corner, um, that's gone on the front panel, the bottom is uh, sparkling clear, <laughs> There was a little bit of dirt and staining along the edge banding. That's all cleaned up now. So really, it's uh, like a brand new bag. Um, I can't really find any of the pre-existing stains that are uh, still there. I can't see them. So I thought I'd put it back together, and uh, then that'll be the end of the update. Um, so let's put the old pager on. So I'm, I'm getting it hung up. I don't know if you guys know about this on this bag. Um, there's a secret pocket on the back panel in the midst of your towels webbing. <coughs> and I was getting that into the pocket instead of through the towels webbing. All right, that's on. Now, let's see, how did I do this? Over, around, under, and through. Shoe. There we go. All right, so the little carabiner's on. Now we had our handful of uh, membership cards and gift cards and whatnot, business cards. Those go in that little pocket. Oh, I missed a couple. There we go. Have my little notebook for jotting down notes as needed. That sits in there. There's my massive wallet. And that goes in there, and that completes the contents of the middle compartment. Now the foam goes here. Still fits in there. No problems with shrinkage on that one. Now let's check these pen holders. That seems fine. And that's fine. There we go. Now we are reloaded and ready to go for another couple of years. I guess before it needs another bath. <laughs> so, um, I suppose in summary, I would comment that uh, I still really love this bag. Um, for my purposes and what I need to carry my little handful of stuff, I still think this is the best bag out there. And after two years of hard, rugged use, um, I'm tickled pink that there's not a single seam that is opening up that there's not a single bit of visible wear on anything despite the fact that I carry this either this way or this way um, every day uh, most of the day uh, oh I forgot to mention oh my uh, the paracord handles look at they even came out clean ta-da a little bit of soap and detergent will fix just about anything <laughs> okay so if you're considering purchasing the 
Max Edition M2 waist pouch. Um, I can give it two thumbs up, uh, and I'm sure you will love it as much as I do. Um, so thanks guys for watching and for your comments, and I hope you all have a great week. Sorry about that. <laughs> I mean to knock your world silly. <laughs> all right, take care.